Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going back to a little series that I had last year of my collection. We are going to go through each section of my collection. I started it at the beginning of last year I think it was where I basically picked a section of my makeup whether it be pigments and glitters. Did a whole video showing off all the pigments and glitters in my collection and I got through all of lips. I didn't do skin like those kind of products because I didn't think that was as interesting. Um, if you want me to do it, I will, but I just didn't think that was as interesting. I got through pigments and glitters. I didn't do liners either because, I mean, they're just, just pencils and things. Like, it's kind of hard to show them off. And I have so many of them that it would have taken me forever. But I went through, like, single shadows, like, single individual pot shadows, that kind of thing. Cream shadows. I also went through my blushes. It was the last one that I did. So next on the list is bronzer and highlight. I know it's been a long time since I've done them, since I've done like the other ones but now I'm going back to it and I just want to continue on because at some point towards the end of the year or as soon as I finish the series I'm going to start doing a declutter series so but I want to show off the collection I have currently before I do that so you can see what I have and then what's going to go so this is going to be bronzer and highlights which is going to be very fun I have those kind of grouped together so like bronzer contour and highlight because I feel like they're the sculpting parts of your face the blush is like the color where the the contour bronzing and highlight is all the sculpting part of the face to make the shapes of the face that you want i have a mixture of creams liquids powders all that jazz and i've also popped in the rest of the face palettes that i didn't show in the blush palettes to show off what is in my face palettes because i don't want to do a whole video just on face palettes because that just takes too long for something that i don't have a lot of anyway so i just grouped them all together now i will just say i'm doing the same sort of intro for each video that I com have coming up. So I have more palettes as well as coming up very soon. I'm so excited about that. And that's my favorite ones to watch myself anyway. So I'm excited to do one myself. Um, but I lost my voice recently. I had laryngitis. So <laughs> I'm still recovering from it. So if my voice sounds a little bit weird. That is why it's nothing to do with the microphone. Nothing to do with the anything technical. It's me. It's me and my body. So just bear with me on that. But I am going to do the same. Like I'm filming all the intros in one go basically. So this is bronzer and highlighters. And I'm very excited to get into it. Just before we do get into it. This look is filmed. It will be coming up on my channel. So you can see that posted soon. If you hit subscribe down below. And go follow my Instagram down below. So you can see all the up close pictures of when it is posted. So let's go to future Carla. To see the bronzer and highlighter and contour drawer. And see what we have going in that little collection. Hello hello it's been a while since I filmed one of these videos it's been exactly seven months because that's the last time I uploaded one so we're going to be getting into bronzers highlighters contours all that kind of jazz in forms of liquid cream powder anything that I have basically in those forms and highlighter palettes and contour palettes as well we're going to start with bronzers and contours I have a mix of like um sticks I've got cream I've got bronzers and contours and like light, cool toned, warm toned, pinky toned, anything like that as well. So we're going to go through all of it. And yeah, it's going to be a fun time. We're going to start with bronzers, contour, and then move on to highlight. And at the end, we will do the cheek palettes as well. So I'm going to organize this. We're going to start off with the creams because I only have like four of those. And then we we'll go on to powders. Okay, so these are my four cream contour bronzing kind of items. I kind of lumped them together because I used them in the same way, but just for different reasons. So some are bronzers. So I've got two bronzers, two contours. I consider this a contour, even though some people might say it's a bronzer, but I, I love all of these. This is my newest one. This one I don't really use on camera because you can't really get it anymore, but this is my newest one. And I'm in love with all of these for all different reasons. So we'll start with the newest one. I will say there's a lot of fingerprints on some of these and I haven't cleaned every single product. So please excuse the fact that I haven't cleaned everything but this is the Fenty Beauty cream what is it called freestyle cream bronzer in the shade amber it's the cheeks out freestyle cream bronzer in the shade oh there we go see I haven't cleaned it it's in the shade amber which is the lightest coolest one I was thinking about getting is it butter biscuit is the next shade up from this one but it's a little bit on the warmer side that's more of a bronzer for me which I might in the future get that but this is more a color that I would actually use and I love this I think it's such a good shade for pale skin for cooler undertones like myself when you want some contour but you don't want it to look like bronzer you want it to be actually a contour this is a great one but it still gives you the warmth of a bronzer as well it's a weird one but I love it so much it's so new to my collection but 
you'll see I have another Fenty bronzer and I adore that as well. I'm also not going to swatch everything in this because they all have generally the same tones. I'll just give you like my brief review of them all because I have used everything. This next one here is a really old MAC cream colour base. Now the cream colour base from MAC, they still do, they just don't do this shade because this was a limited edition one. It's basically like a cream product, you can use it on the eyes, cheeks, all over the skin because some of them are highlighters, you use them as blushers, you use them anywhere really. They're just a cream emollient sort of product with pigments in it. So this one came out with the Charlotte Olympia collection and this is in the shade Sepia. They did one called Midtone Sepia which was a little bit warmer but this is Sepia and this was like my first cream contour that I ever had. It's kind of actually a little bit similar to the Fenty one. It's a little bit deeper and a little bit cooler than the Fenty one but this one I'd say is a little bit stronger in colour. This one is a little bit more um, sheer, not sheer, like just softer and more buildable. But I love this as well. I don't use it too often because I don't want to run through it because it is one of my favourite products, but I should really just use them. I should just use them. Next up is one you're probably sick of hearing me talk about. This is my Lorizzi Shade Stick Contour Stick in the shade Aloha. Just like this, I never really like draw straight onto my skin. I kind of get my brush and like go over the actual product because I find that gives me a more even application. Not too much product and I can build it up a little bit easier that way. But I love this. This, I will actually swatch this one. This one is just the most perfect like contoury bronzer for a paler skin. They do another one and I can't think of the name of it. Another shade, a darker shade. But this one here is so beautiful. And this was an accidental product. I got this in a glossy box when I used to be subscribed to the glossy box. Got that and I would absolutely order a new one. When that runs out, I will be getting another one. Next up then is my Huda Tantor Contour and Bronzing Cream. Can you see there? Yeah. So this is in the shade Fair, which is right there. And I love this as well. This is a lot warmer, a lot stronger. And I've used very little of it, even though I've used it so much, but it's definitely, definitely like a lot more my summer, bronzy kind of cream shade. I love this. When I go on holidays, I tend to bring this with me or I'll bring the contour stick with me as well because I love the tones of those. But I think the cream, like the texture of it is beautiful. It blends really easy. I just, I love it like soft kind of duo fiber brush for these sort of products. I think they're beautiful. Okay, so that's all for creams. I don't have a lot of creams and I don't use liquid. I haven't, I haven't tried liquid. I've tried liquid on other people. I haven't used it on myself. I don't have any liquid contour bronzing products. I would be interested in the Charlotte Tilbury ones, but they're always out of stock. So, and I, I haven't just looked into it yet because I'm happy with what I have right now and I don't need another one. So we're not going to go there. But now we're going to go into the bronzers and contours. I'm kind of mixing them all together. I'm not doing contours and then bronzers because these are just miscellaneous sort of products um, that I only have one of apart from I've kind of more well-known and higher brands that I'll show in a second but these are just kind of the miscellaneous little bits that I have here so I've got two here from Makeup Revolution I got these in a advent calendar one is a contour and one is a bronzer is it yes contour and bronzer the only one I've used is the contour because it's more my sort of shade I actually really like the tone of this even though it's quite a cheap sort of color but yeah, I've kind of brought this one on holidays because this is such a cheap packaging that it's so light. It's actually really nice for traveling. And I just really like how it turn, it, it looks on the skin. The other one I'll just show you as well. This is the bronzer. I will probably declutter this when I do my declutter. It is way more warm and I just don't know if it's going to suit me. I do have another bronzer here that is quite warm as well. I can get away with it. But with this one, they're quite strong in color. It's very hard to get them to work on my skin. The other product that I have that's quite warm is quite sheer, so I can build it up as I need to. But yeah, I just find that this is more, this is more for me. This is more for someone who wears a bit of tan or is more of like a medium to dark sort of skin tone. Next up then is a very old, old, old product. And I have a backup of this as well. <laughs> But I don't know if I necessarily need a backup. I think I'll probably declutter the backup. But this is the NYX Blush in Taupe. This was like the, the first proper contour shade for pale skin. And it is a blusher. It's called a blusher. It's called a blush. They do have a version of this now. They've reformulated their blushes. And they have a version of this color. And I cannot think. I think it's something taupe anyway. But this it, this was this was the first contour uh, for pale skin. And I had to have it. So I got it. Then when I heard they were discontinuing it, I bought another one and I don't really use it too often now because there's so many more options for pale skin. Not a, Still not enough, but more options. 
and I feel like, I don't know, I don't necessarily need a backup now because I still haven't hit pan on this yet. Then we've got my wonderful Benefit Dallas bronzer. I don't even know if it is a bronzer. I, I honestly feel like some people wear this as a blusher, if you can kind of see it there. It's kind of hard to find. Definitely hit pan on this and I do have a backup of this, but I won't be decluttering the backup because I love this. It's, it, this is what I mean when I say a pinky toned bronzer, if that makes any sense. Like it has a pink brown undertone, but it's great for giving like a bit of color to the cheeks. Ooh. Or if you are a little bit darker, you could probably use it as a blusher. I really just like the tone as I love how it looks on the skin. And then next I have these two. This one I think is a dupe of this one. Not a, not a dupe color wise, just like they kind of look very similar. So I kind of lump these two together. I'll show you this one first. So the dupey one. This is, um, what's it called? Kin Kinder Beauty. Again, I got this in a glossy box and it's just their bronzer. It's in the shade blissful bronze it's quite a strong one again i probably decluttered this as well i don't know if i'm really ever going to use this sort of tone of bronzer you'll see a theme with my bronzers they kind of chop and change a little bit but yeah i i like it but i don't know if i necessarily need it but you'll see like the pattern here is very similar to this which is the physician's formula in the butter bronzer which is definitely more of a golden tone for me but look at look at the pattern it's exact like I mean exactly the same you could match that it's like a fingerprint almost and um, this one smells really strongly of coconut yeah literally smells like a Malibu and coke <laughs> but this one here doesn't smell like anything but I just I feel like like the color of the packaging and everything I just think that they tried to copy it so not that I have any issue with that I mean but I don't think it's a better product but I've got the shade light bronzer and oh there's a brush in there did I not notice that? I was like a spongy kind of thing. I didn't, I didn't even know that was there to be honest. But yeah, that's the, the butter bronzer. I love this because it's very light. So it's like a really pale bronzer. It's not a contour at all. It's a very light bronzer. And then lastly is one I love. And I love this for every day, especially when I'm going to work, especially when we have to wear masks into work because we don't have to wear masks now into work. We used to wear masks and I just, I only did half of, I only did like the top half of my face anyway because the mask would cover the rest or take off the rest of the makeup. So I would use this a lot because it just looked really nice on the skin. This is the ML, which is Model Launcher and it's the Safari bronzer. And it looks like this. It looks so weird. But when I use it, it kind of mixes all these colors together and I get really nice. I like, I've hit pan. I don't know if you can see that, but I've hit pan in there. And I've, I've just been using that so much over the last year since being back in work with the pandemic, using, wearing masks. I wouldn't wear it like on a night out round like that. I don't think it's that good, but I just, I don't know. I just gravitate towards it a lot for work. And I am a work and makeup artist. So that'll give you kind of an idea of what I do as a job. Okay, and then the rest of the powders here, these are more kind of more well-known products, more popular products, more well-known brands, all that kind of jazz. So we're gonna start here with my Juvia's Place Bronze Duo in the shade Light. And I got this for my birthday last year off my boyfriend. So it's like two different colors and literally these just remind me of Hula and Hula Light, which I do have as well in my cheek parade, which you would have seen in the blush collection video as well. I kind of showcased that because it's mostly blushes, but the Hoola and Hoola Light is in there. I love Hoola Light. It's one of my favorite bronzers ever, but I love these two as well. So I tend to use this. I find these, this doesn't build up the way Hoola and Hoola Light does. It's a little bit, you need to build it a little bit more. So I tend to use this and this together, I kind of mix them or I'll do a layer of this and then deepen it up a little bit with this if I need to. But I just love, I love the texture of it as well. It's very natural and I think it's beautiful. I love the packaging as well. I think it's really nice. Then we've got the Nabla Skin Bronzing Powder in the shade Ambra, which is like a satin. Like it's not metallic. It's not really shiny, but it's not fully matte either. If you can kind of see that there, like is that showing at all no yes anyway it's kind of like a satin finish but it's very golden as well so i really like this again in the summer when i want to be like actually bronzed and not just contoured and not just kind of warming up my face like actually bronzed this is what i tend to gravitate towards love the texture love the products i really want their skin glaze is that what it's called they're like highlight versions of these because i love the texture of these but you'll see in a minute i don't need any more highlighters so please do not let me buy any more and then my favorite contour bronzer in my whole collection again this very finger printy but this is the fenty beauty sun stalker bronzer in the shade in the sun and She's just perfect. I don't know. She is just perfect. As soon as this came into my life and I started using it, that was it. Like I, I could literally probably get rid of everything and keep this and 
of this. These, if I had these two, I'm sorted for everything I need. But I love everything else as well. So I'm not getting rid of, rid of a lot of it. But yeah, I, I love this. Love this texture, love the tone, love how it looks on my skin. This is my go-to when I'm going out anywhere. I, you can, I can feel a little dip in it already. I've only have a, I've only used it like every now and again, but I love, love, love this bronzer. This has been top of my like end of year favorites, like one of the years as well. I didn't pick it again because it was the same. I'll pick the same one. So yeah, I love that. And then our last little corner over here is gonna be MAC. So we'll start with this one because this is an actual bronzer. The rest are kind of more contoury sort of shades. So this is the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish Natural in the shade Dark Gold, in which I love using on other people so much that I wanted it for myself and I love the tone of it. On me, it's very golden. It's very yellow. And I feel like I need to wait until the summer. It's just that little bit too yellow on my skin, just as I am now, but I will be going on a sun holiday. So hopefully I'll get a little bit more color and then I'll be able to use this or I'll probably bring this with me maybe. But I love the texture of it. If you need a good bronzer, they've loads of different colors in it as well. It's a great texture for bronzer and you're unsure because they're very sheer buildable. They're mineral based. So they're really nice and lightweight on the skin and they look like skin on. They're beautiful just not exactly ready for it just yet also I do apologize my nails are all different lengths because two of them broke in work which is lovely I need to cut the rest of them down then I've got a mineralized blusher here which is in the shade humor me which I do use quite a bit actually it's that kind of color there so it's again a little bit on the warmer side it nearly leans into what the Dallas bronzer is where it has almost a pinky sort of tone to it not quite as much but it's in that sort of family especially when it's on the skin mineral based again and i love it and then these two oh my god mac needs to bring something like this back again so they have their like contour palettes and things like that but that's like if you're not using that on other people because i don't do a lot of makeup outside of work as in i use the makeup in work i don't necessarily use my own kit you need your individual products if it's just going to be you that's using it there's no point in you buying a contour highlighter palette unless you're a makeup artist but or unless you're going to be a couple of different like skin tones throughout the year like for false tan for the summer for the winter all that kind of stuff this is what we need like for mac to do or other brands as well so i have this one here which is a blush in the shade baby don't go this is the one that needs to come back baby don't go needs to come back i wore this the other day into work and I could not get over it. It was such a beautiful color, beautiful tone. It can build it up really nicely. I love that. And then this one here, I got, this is Next to Skin, which is even cooler toned, way more of a contour shade. And I got this in a little like Estee Lauder store in Florida in one of the outlets. And it was like really heavily discounted. I think this was limited edition anyway with a collection. But this is a really nice one. I do prefer Baby Don't Go Out with the two of them. But I need to bring this back, Mac. Seriously. Okay, so now we're going to move on to highlighters. And again, we're going to do creams, liquids, all that kind of jazz. I have more liquid highlighters in this section as opposed to what I did in the bronzer. In fact, I had none in the bronzers. But we're going to go through these. Some of these I might swatch because they're very pretty and I want to show you how cool they look especially him in particular he's very cool and then we'll go on to loose highlights and then pressed highlights and then we'll finish off with palettes so let me kind of get this in some sort of order I have more than this by the way but I just want to get it in order of like brand so I can go through it easier so we'll quickly go through these these are just like creams that are like you know in a pan set or in a tub I have this little sample here I'll just get this out of the way this is shell cream color base from MAC it is just like a very soft like shiny very soft pink sort of shade in a cream it's the same texture as that contour that I showed you from MAC the cream one but yeah you can kind of just use that wherever you like and I like to apply these with my fingers speaking of cream color base my favorite one is Luna from MAC this is obviously not clean either very sorry about that but I've definitely hit pan and I'm gonna order a new one of these because I love this so much it's just the most perfect pearly white for pale skin that just gives you an iridescence like a nice kind of wet sheen without being glitter without being too much it's just very I don't know very natural but still very impactful as well and then I've got this little palette here because this has a cream in it so I want to apply pop this in here this is a highlighting palette in the style solstice from sleek so you've got three powders you've got more of like a white gold sort of shade I'm kind of trying to tilt it up so the glare is not 
covering it you've got this one here which is more like a peachy and then this is like a lilac but a very pale kind of white icy sort of shade and then a cream very similar to the cream color base a cream that is more neutral so it's a really nice little palette if you want a little variety of highlights but you're not sure and you're a little bit on the paler side like me this is a great one this is one of the few like highlight palettes i started out with as well so yeah and you do get a little brush and i just i just don't have any more and then this guy this is such a weird color this is the jelly highlighter from rimmel can you see that <laughs> it's like unicorn poo and it's it's like very thick but you pick up a lot on your finger if you can see that there it's very like mac reflex teal uh glitter which i sometimes use as a highlighter on my face but it's very like wet and sparkly and it's pink and it's teal and it's green and there's like a little bit but it's very like there's no real base color to it so i love that with my highlighters as well i love when there's not much base color in my highlighters i love this i just think it's really fun and i'm so happy i have it they had another color in it but i can't remember what it was it's probably a bit more golden but i'm so happy i got this one okay i'm gonna do my three stick highlighters that i have here i don't use sticks too much because i find they can sometimes pull your makeup off underneath but if you use them on your finger it's fine so this one here is by makeup revolution i got this in a little set with a highlight palette which i'll show you in a minute but it's just a golden like i don't really use that sort of shade too often because it's very yellow gold it looks fun sometimes when you use it but I find it's a bit of a drier form so it takes a little bit more to blend in as well it takes a bit harder to blend in as opposed to other ones that i have here this one here is from catrice this is the dewy wet look stick i love this i really really like this because as being a makeup artist you find a lot of like different sort of textures really satisfying so this one here is definitely more like a wet dew as opposed to like full-on glimmery sparkly cheeks or like metallic cheeks around like that it does have sparkles in it very soft pink really light kind of icy sort of sparkles in it but it just gives this wet dewy look i love this in the summer and then i have this one here which i think i got in an advent calendar either my glossy box advent calendar yeah i think it was my glossy box advent calendar this is from nude by nature uh, it's a really cute little stick and this is in the shade 01 champagne which is just exactly as it says it's a champagne highlight it's a little bit dark for me but i don't mind that because again in the summer if i got a bit of color i could make it work for me and blends it in highlights do tend to lighten up a little bit as well but yeah it's a little bit dark for me i don't use it too often but whenever i am um, tan again which i haven't been tan in about two years <laughs> it will probably wear that a bit more okay so now we're on to liquids i want to get these two out of the way because these are just very random products that i have in here these are iridescent body gels these are great for like festival kind of things and um, my mom got me these these are like 350 or just when i want to do something a little bit more fun so this one is in the shade boho it's basically just like body glitter so it's a bit like literally just glitter in a gel this one is like more kind of peach with gold and pink in it and then this one here is wild which is way more pink this is way more rosy this one has way more pink sparkles in it but still has a little bit of a gold and almost like a silver in it as well but yeah they're just fun i don't think primark does these anymore but i have them so they're there okay so now on to more liquids we've got the nyx born to glow liquid illuminator this is in the shade sunbeam and i have the shade gleam as well i got this in a nyx advent calendar if you want to collect makeup advent calendars are the way to go if you can afford one and um, and like the nyx one wasn't too expensive but you get a good bit and a few like shade options as well in different ones so what i will say about these is they dry very quick i'm just going to swatch both of them so you can see the difference i use the sunbeam one obviously more because it's more my kind of color where this one's a little bit darker so i'd probably declutter this whenever i'm doing my declutter i know it's stupid to wait but i i want to film it so <laughs> i am waiting but they do dry quite quick so you need to do like one cheek at a time and move quite quickly with it they are beautiful though very soft then we have this which i also got in an advent calendar and i actually love this <laughs> i don't really use it too much because i like there's literally no name on it i don't think yeah it literally just says liquid highlighter there's not a shade on this it's from makeup for evolution it's one of their advent calendars that i got it in it's just the most beautiful gold it's a really nice texture as well it's quite like metallic and like sparkly but still very fine sparkles i just love the texture of it. i think it's so pretty then i have this bad boy which his counterpart was in the blush video as well it was the blood of my enemies or something like that and this is creature of the night this is also makeup revolution this came out one halloween and i love this so much firstly 
firstly it's a skull so I was gonna buy it anyway that's why I bought the other one as well the other one's a bit dark but um it's more of a blush color but it's very strong this though I actually love you don't need a lot of it just like a couple little dabs of it there and it's so beautiful so pigmented and so blinding like she's just beautiful and these are quite dark on me here so this one's slightly too dark for me. This one isn't, even though the base of it looks kind of deep, but it's actually not when it's on the skin. This one is not dark for me at all. This one is definitely too dark for me. Okay, and then I've got two Kiko Metal Infusion Highlighting Drops. You can, these are the kind of ones you can mix in. In fact, all of these you can mix in with foundation if you want to. Any of the liquid ones would mix quite well in with foundation to give you an extra sheen. I have two shades here. I've got 01 Platinum Rose, which is the more pinky one. And then I've got 02 Sweet Dreams, which is the more like soft gold. I did get a third one which it was a dark one I got that from my mom and I cannot remember the name of it and I don't know where she has it but these are very similar texture to the creature of the night one from Makeup Revolution so that's these two down here they're a little bit of a thicker formula than the Makeup Revolution one is a lot thinner they do set down like all of these set down the ones that I've just showed you um, a lot of the creamy ones and the stick ones don't, but these ones definitely do. They dry down and still keep their nice sheen or the nice dewy sort of look. But I think these two are beautiful. I can definitely still get away with this, even though it looks kind of, kind of darker on me. On my face, it doesn't look too dark and I've used it a few times, but I do prefer the Platinum Rose. I think I can use that a little bit more. I love the texture of those. I'm so happy I have them. I don't know if you can still get them, but they need to come out with those again or in different sort of like more sparkly ones, more sheer ones like duo chrome ones that'd be fun and on to our last three here we've got good old benefit again this is the moonbeam highlighter these look like nail polish they have a little brush on them i'm gonna do them up here because that's just easier right now so this one's kind of almost like a cream yellow sort of base with a pink iridescence through it i don't know how well the iridescence is going to show up on camera but it's actually beautiful when it's on i don't know if you're gonna be able to see the pinky kind of iridescence off of, but that's that's it there. It's beautiful. It looks doesn't look like a great colour there, but once it's actually on, it's a nice bit of warmth in it. And in the same vein as that, we've got the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Hello Halo Liquid Highlighter. Very long name, but that's fine. I've got two shades here. I have got Halo Graphic and I've got Halo Goodbye. Very clever names. I got these in a little set, so it had these two and a makeup sponge on beauty bay i think i got it for nine euros so these are definitely more iridescent so this one in here is the halo graphic which is the lighter white one it reflects a purple pink sort of iridescence duochrome sort of effect and then this one here is the halo goodbye this is just more like a skin tone very natural i prefer this of the two i do tend to gravitate towards this one a little bit more i love duochrome highlights sometimes and sometimes i don't like them so I kind of I pick and choose but with this sort of one I do tend to grab that, that one a little bit more okay so now I'm going to move on to some loose highlighters I don't have again too many of these I don't tend to gravitate towards too many of these but this one is one of my favorites and this one you've probably never seen but also one of my favorites so we're going to quickly go through all of these I'm probably going to swatch a lot of these as well because I can't help I love swatching 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 so this one here is the MAC iridescent loose powder in the shade silver dusk I really like this it's not my favorite in the whole world it's more of like a iridescent powder if that makes sense like it's not super glitter glitter but it is quite soft and sparkly if you can see that there great one for paler skin it's a great body highlighter because it's not too metallic or anything like that it's like a just a very soft finely milled powder we've got this one here this is the impulse body shimmer i have this years and years and years already all over the place i knew this was going to happen with the loose highlights this one is like even softer than that last one. So again, I don't know if I'm going to keep this through a declutter, but I do still kind of like it. I don't know. I love the tone of it because it's almost like a white gray sort of base, which I know doesn't appeal to a lot of people, but it appeals to me. Then I've got this one here. This is the Cherry Blossom Girl Shimmer Shimmering Body Powder from Essence. This was a limited edition like spring collection a good few years ago. This is really pretty. I really like this. I don't use this because you can't really get it. This is kind of like what I want the MAC one to look like. And this one was probably about four euro. <laughs> so that's the difference. But this is kind of the way you think the MAC one is going to look, but it doesn't. I want it to look like that. Then I have this very weird one. This is the Apocalyptic Beauty Highlighter. I got this when they had their Halloween mystery bags i bought one of those and this was the highlight i got this is in the shade glorious ghoul and it's almost like this yellow chartreuse sort of shade look at that that is a highlighter apparently <laughs> that's it there it's so pretty it's so weird i wish i had this when i was doing my color series which i will i do have two more that i want to do for the color series so i will get around to doing that eventually 
Um, I just haven't had the mindset for it right now. But I wish I had this when I was doing my lime or my olive one. That would have been a beautiful highlighter for those looks. But yeah, very weird. Not going to use it a whole lot. But I like having the option. And then I have my two favourite loose ones. So this one here, as I've said, you've probably never seen this. This is the Essence Glam Rock Collection. So this was 100 years ago, what it feels like. This is the Diamond Powder. And this is... There's no shade on this. I don't think it's... I think it's just called the Diamond Powder. This... Ah, it's just so sparkly. I'm pretty sure I use this for my Debs. My Debs is like the prom in America. If you're from America. Oh! Don't love the actual packaging because it makes a mess for you it's almost like a loose version of the diamond bomb highlighter from fenty because it's just this like kind of white silver no base color super sparkly color oh my god i love i love 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 this i was obsessed with this still am and will never get rid of it for nostalgia and also because the odd time i do use it and then lastly one that you've definitely seen me use because i use this a lot and it has been of my yearly favorites this is the inglot sparkling dust for face eyes and body this is in the shade 07 i think because it's kind of rubbed off the back and i'm pretty sure it's 07 and this is the most blinding one of the most blinding highlights in my whole collection it's so so blinding when you work that into the skin it just becomes the most shiny shiny highlight oh it's so pretty i love it i love it with everything i always wear it when i'm going out because it's so impressive when it's on i love it okay so as you can see we're going to move on to powder pressed highlighters um can you tell why i said i don't need any more highlighters now i've got a lot so again we're going to go by brand i'm going to start off with the miscellaneous ones where i only have one maybe two or some random brands or anything like that and then we get into the more bigger brands higher end and more solid kind of products that everyone either knows or ones that i love so much so let me find some organization within this okay so i might not swatch everything but i might swatch some things but i'm gonna get right re really quickly into it. i want to kind of mention this but then go very quickly over it. this is the jeffree star skin frost in the shade ice cold Sadly, I love this and I really, I, I do use it when I'm not filming because I don't particularly want to advertise his brand for many reasons, but I own it and I'm not just going to throw it out because that's not going to hinder him or his business, but I just don't advertise it. So I have it. I love it. I'm really sad that I love it so much, but I do love it. It's a really nice texture, really nice formula and very nice color, but there's others that are nice replacements for it as well. Then I've got some very random ones here. This is the Academy of Colour highlighter. I got this in an advent calendar years ago. This is probably one I'll declutter. It's just a standard champagne-y sort of highlight shade. It is a powder. Then I've got three highlighters from the Makeup Revolution advent calendar. This one I have used. I've used, actually I've used all of them. I've used this one most because I brought this away on holidays with me. You can see I've got a bit of hard pan in the middle of it. Again, I brought this away because it's very light packaging because it's a cheaper packaging, but I did like it. It's a really nice colour. Can't fault it. Then these two are more of a baked style highlighter. So this one here I've used recently. This is like a kind of pinky rosy sort of champagne sort of shade. And that's beautiful. And then this one here is more just a white just an icy white. I'd probably keep this out of all of them because I do like that kind of colour more. Then I have this here, which I do adore. This is the Model Co. and Karl Lagerfeld. Is that how you sell it? say his name? I think so. This came in a glossy box and it's just the baked, it's a baked blush, I think is what it was called, but it is essentially a highlighter. It's just kind of a little bit more golden of a champagne and very nice on the skin. I could still wear that even if I am really pale as pale as i am now i can still get away with it but it is lovely when i have a bit of tan not tan on i don't wear tan but a bit more color in the summer then i've got my good old color pop flexitarian super shock cheek i can never open this so that's what that looks like there it's kind of one of those like putty like creamy like a like a putty sort of formula i have another one kind of similar to this but it's a very very blinding you can see there as it catches the light very blinding highlight i love that then i have this very random one i think i also got this in a glossy box this is the mua looks set and reflect finishing kit so in here you've got a highlighter like this gorgeous speckled one i love this this is so beautiful it's like a white gold sort of shade um very very beautiful really really like that good texture as well it's very nice and underneath as well you get a setting powder i don't think i've ever used a setting powder but i do really really like this very random 
but a nice little find. The glossy boxes were good for little random finds. You didn't find a good thing in every single box, but you did get some random ones. Then I've got these little next ones I got in a advent calendar. This was like their Candyland kind of set. And these are just highlighters, just pressed highlighters. So this is Paradise Fluff and it's the shade Candy Cloud, which is just like your, you know, standard highlighter sort of shade. I have a lot of colors like that. So I wouldn't mind getting rid of a couple because I have a lot. Then I've got this one here, which is Sprinkle Town in the shade Pop and Rock. And this one is kind of like a blue duochrome, um, a bluey purpley sort of duochrome on the skin. And then this last one here is Sprinkle Town. Did I have another one? Yeah, I had another one called Sprinkle Town there. This is Cinnamon Spice. This is kind of like in the same vein as what Kaleidos had. Ray Rider, was that the name of it? Ray Rider? Was it Mars Melter? What was it called? I think it was Ray Rider, the one that kind of was like a brown with a green in it. It's the same idea. It's a little bit dark for me, but again, in the summer, I'd probably get away with it a little bit more, but it has like a green iridescence off it. Very interesting colour. The Ray Rider one from Kaleidos, they don't do anymore, which is kind of sad, but yeah, that's like a version of it. Then I've got this Catrice, what's, what are you called? This is a baked highlighting powder mineral highlighting powder that's what it is and it's in the shade light infusion mine's broken <laughs> as you can see this is very similar to max double gleam like almost like a max double gleam in a mineralized sort of formula which is more of like a soft powdery sort of formula where the extra dimension highlighters from mac which i have a couple of those are more like metallic sort of creamy almost even though they are a powder but that's that. I do love that. I really, really like that. And I'm sad it broke on me. But look, it's cheaper packaging. It's a great product though. So onto a few more. We're going to move on to Kiko. So I have this one here, which I do adore. This is the Ocean Feel Highlighter in the shade 02, a virtuous golden rose. And it's a baked mineral based highlighter. Um, it's kind of almost like a rosy, like a rose gold sort of uh, idea. Um, has a bit of colour to it. I almost kind of use it as like a blush highlighter or like a glowy blush that kind of idea but yeah I do really like that also from Kiko this is the one that reminds me a little bit of the super shock cheek from Colourpop this what are you called this is a cream radiance highlighter but it's like a putty as well it's in the shade 02 there's no name just 02 and this is like a sheer very wet looking sort of a highlighter um very sparkly and just very moist looking that's an awful word but you know what I mean like it just gives a real nice dewy sort of look even though it's still a powder technically we're actually getting through this quite quickly so we're gonna just keep powering through next I've got my Fenty this is the kilowatt freestyle highlighter duo this is lightning dust and fire crystal so in this it's like a duo one side is more like of a softer metallic and then one is a bit more sparkly so this one here is the lightning dust it looks like it's hard pan but it's not it's just because i've used it so much it's actually still comes out quite nice on the skin god all my highlighters look so dark on this area of my arm but well, it's probably because that's the palest part of my arm and then this one here is fire crystal it's just basically almost the same sort of color i know some of them have like different colors on either side this one is pretty much the same shade except one is more sparkly and one is more metallic and i like it and then my favorite highlighter from Fenty is the Diamond Bomb highlighter in the shade How Many Carrots. She's a few of these, but this is the OG. And um, this almost kind of has that putty sort of formula, but this is basically like a sheer wet. It literally looks like there's like nothing when it doesn't hit the light, and when it does, then it's like super metallic. Not metallic, sparkly, like wet and sparkles. Oh, it's so beautiful. And this works on anyone's skin because there's no base color. It's just sparkly bit so you wouldn't get a grey cast or a silver cast or a darker sort of cast on the cheeks it's just the most beautiful sparkly like glisten over the cheeks and then i've got two bobby brown highlighters this is the highlighting powder in the shade pink glow and it's just a, a rosy gold like there's a theme going on here i like these kinds of tones for highlighters the other that looks so dark oh my god but that is a beautiful color on me even now at my playlist wow why does that look so dark i don't know but it's a great little formula this one i also got is i think this is limited edition or limited edition packaging anyway this is opal glow same formula i find this one a little bit more sparkly as opposed to the other one which is more metallic and this one is more like a gold and a pink sort of sparkle through it there as well so shiny and so pretty okay so now we're going to move on to mac and 
I have a lot as you can see and I actually have doubles of one but that was accidental so I have got let me start I'm gonna start here so this is the mineralized skin finish these were what were called like the pinwheel sort of ones this is faintly fabulous it's got four colors the only ones I can really use are these two unless I'm more tanned I use these two or I swirl them all together it's a beautiful formula beautiful texture I wish I could have got one that was even lighter than this um, just with these sort of shades being like still this sort of tone but a little bit lighter and then this one would be this one but this one would be more like this one and this one would be even lighter so you know what I mean but I do really like the formula of that I don't know how long I'm going to keep it in my life because I don't use it too often but I do still like the formula of it so I'm going to do this one next because this is the only other one that is not a extra dimension highlighter so this one came out with the Star Trek collection a few years ago this is the Luna Luster is the name of the shade because there was a darker one as well and this this is the Trip the Light Fantastic Powder, which I love. I bought this because I don't watch Star Trek. I don't. I can't even lie and say I do. But my dad, who about 10 years ago passed away, loved Star Trek. He was a Trekkie and I had to buy it. I just had to and I will never part with it. I don't use it too often. It is beautiful though and it kind of looks like a planet. But yeah, I kind of keep that as like a little part of my collection that connects me to him. It's more of a powdery sort of formula definitely um it's not like their extra dimension the extra dimension highlighter you will see is so so beautiful but this has got a special place in my heart it will forever be in my collection i will never part with it so going to work our way through the extra dimension highlighter so we're going to start with soft frost which is like a whitish and purple sort of duochrome so i'll just swatch him very nice he's i kind of use that more like duochrome ones almost over blushes to kind of amplify them a little bit that's what that's great for then I've got this one here. This is Double Gleam. This is my most used one. Mine has quite literally fallen out of the pan and I don't know how to fix it, but it hasn't actually broken. So I'm going to keep it. And I've used it so much that I wouldn't declutter and give it to anyone because it's the broken one. But that's him there. That is one of my favorite highlighters in my collection as well because it's just a great shade for pale skin with that really nice like icy champagne sort of shade. This one up here is my backup. I say back up, but I'm not going to keep it. I'm going to declutter this one. This came out with a Christmas collection and I accidentally bought it again. So um, it's beautiful. I'd love to keep this one because it is the really pretty pattern. But why would I give someone one that's used and broken that they're probably not going to keep when I could give them a brand, like literally brand new one. And I know a few people that would probably really like this if they wanted it. The next one then also came out with a Christmas collection. This is the Soul Glow. It looks very dark, but I got away with it as kind of like a bronzy highlight sort of idea. I did use it in one of my looks that I posted on my Instagram that I didn't film with, and it worked really well as like a bronzy highlight sort of shade. Yeah, I I do like it. If anyone really wanted it, I'd give it away because I, I'm not gonna use it too often, but until then, I'll probably still keep it. Next up is one of my most beautiful ones, the most beautiful package ones. This collection came out with this was what was it called it was it was like a snowflake snow globe i can't think of the name of it now but it was all snowflake this is like frosted glass kind of effect to it It was beautiful this is show gold which they sell all year round so you can get this color anytime around but mine has a big snowflake in it and it's beautiful so this is like gold with a really strong kind of pink reflex like it's almost like a green gold and then it just reflects pink i don't know what kind of, oh there you go you can kind of see the pink there pink and then down here is gold this is stunning and i use this a lot and it's so beautiful and then this is the most recent edition this was their lunar collection lunar new year collection lunar look i think it was called this is a little one which i actually really like the idea of the smaller extra dimension highlighters because i have so many i don't need huge ones this is lunar lights is the shade i've been wearing this a lot the past like two weeks or so i just feel like it looks so glassy on the cheeks it's so blinding there's something different about this one compared to the others, I think, but it's so beautiful. I've been using that a lot. I think it's stunning. And then the last one is from the Christmas collection last year, which was that like firework, whatever it was called, Sparks collection. Not the one just gone of 2020 was this collection. This is Let It Glow, which is just white. It's just white and I had to, and it's so pretty. And the packaging is really, really cute. Not as nice as this one though but very cute and this is more just like a icy kind of white sort of shade as well 
very nice okay we're we're getting through it this is our last little batch of pressed powder highlights then we'll do the cheeks but we're going to get through these really quickly so on this one here this has a blush in it as well but i keep this in my highlight drawer because it's like a glowy blush as well this is the wet and wild hello halo blush lighter in the shade highlight bling and you've got a highlighter on one side oh you've got a highlighter on one side and you've got a glowy blush on the other side i just i love it sometimes i don't love it all the time because it's very blinding i would never use this and then this i use one or the other i don't pair them both together they're very very metallic but i still i still do love the formula i think it's a great formula especially because it's wet and wild it's so cheap cheap packaging but it's a very nice product this one however has a bit more like substantial packaging to it this is the mega glow highlighting powder in the shade blossom glow this is one of my favorites this has been a yearly favorite for me very cheap got it on beauty bay it's just a very soft like pink like a very pale pink highlight not an iridescent pink not a pink duochrome not anything like that it's just a pink <laughs> very soft which i have another one kind of like it in a second i'll show you actually i'll show you now this is glitz this is one of my friend got me for christmas i'll never part with this this is from makeup geek it's the shade glitz as i said and i know makeup geek has gone out of business but i love this this is so pretty this is definitely more icy pink where this is a bit of a warmer pink but i feel like this is i don't know this has a really like almost like the extra dimensions from mac kind of almost like a thicker metallic sort of formula it's very very pretty the other one i have from makeup geek is moon phase which is a duochrome highlighter now this i don't feel like comes out the way i would want it it's not my favorite in the world like it's a bit meh Um, you still get a duochrome effect but i just wish it was more like glitz or even more like that sort of texture to give us that sort of reflectiveness i feel like for duochromes i would like them to be more sparkly because i feel like that picks up the light and shows off the duochrome a little bit better and then we've got miss kvd as of Cafon D, which is now KVD Beauty, which I got these when she was still Cafon D years ago in sets. And I think my mom got me some for Christmas. Actually, my mom got me all three of these for Christmas now that I think about it. But anyway, this one is a double because I have that in the Fetish palette, which I showed in my blush collection video. So this is the Metal Crush Extreme Highlighter in the shade Rose Shock, which I've already shown, but I'll show again. They're very, very pretty and I have no problem now that she is not in the business using these on camera. Look at, they're just so sparkly and beautiful. Like this almost, maybe not quite as sparkly as what this one should be. And then I've got this one here. This is Gravitron. So this one looks yellow, but actually reflects pink when it's on the cheeks but it looks very yellow but reflects very pink it actually almost reminds me of the show gold from mac a little bit because of the pink in it but yeah you can see that next that very wet looking and i really like that and then this one here was with their like anniversary collection this is gold school and this is just a white that reflects a really strong gold I'm trying to get like all the shines in you can kind of see them there yeah i really really like these now we're going to get into my most recent highlight purchases these are the kaleidos space age highlighters oh oh these guys are oh my god i'm so happy to have these in my collection three of these are my newest ones this one i got last year but i'll go through it so this one is skywalker and this is like a white to blue iridescence if you can see that there i'm obviously going to swatch these to show you because you must see these in action like really really are you joking me i'm sorry and i love this although i said i only sometimes like duochrome highlights i love this because it's very translucent base and that's what i like at my highlighters where it's just when you catch the light you catch the blue but then when it's like this way you don't really see it too much or like there can you see that like right here you don't actually see any of the blue you only see here where it's catch the light next is probably the most wearable of the all, all the ones i have this is ray rider which is almost like a champagne peach so this one i wear probably the most because <laughs> it's probably the most neutral and it gives more of a I don't know a softer look but you still have that blindingness to it it's not as duochrome -y. then we've got star surfer which is the pink so this kind of almost like that wet and wild one it's similar sort of color but for me I would say a better formula but the wet and wild one is still beautiful so that one has a bit more of a pink cooler pink so I've kind of got like a really really cool 
kind of in between and then a nice warmer one and I like it. And then lastly, the most beautiful one in my whole collection, the one I've saved for last for a reason because she's stunning. This is the Prophecy Highlighter. This came out last year. I got this when I got the Club Nebula palette and this is the only multi-chrome highlighter that I own, I think. So this one goes from like a green to a gold to an orange. So, oh my God, I'm sorry. <laughs> I can just see it right now. I'm getting the really strong green gold. You guys are probably getting more of the gold orange. Can you see that? But then like if I turn again, like here, you don't really see it too much here. It's only when it's catching that light. Look at how blinding that is. That is my favorite highlighter in my whole collection. I'm trying to get a nice like up close for you guys. You might be able to see all the colors that are in it. I've like turned down my lights so you guys can see a little bit of that. Oh my God, it's just so beautiful. And you can see that blue as well. Look at the blue. Wow. Okay, we're on the home stretch, guys. We're almost there, getting through this. So I'm gonna go quickly through all of the palettes that I have left as of my cheek palettes. I've gone through to make sure I'm not missing any palettes from my blush collection. I know I already showed some of bronzer and highlighters that were in ones with blushers, but these are just bronzer with blush in them if they do like this one has a bit of blush in it but this is a newer one anyway so I'm just going to throw it in here but it does have a bronzer so it does count so we're going to start right here which is a number seven limited edition illuminating palette I got this at Christmas don't really use it too often but they are beautiful colors but they're very soft so everything's very soft in this palette very natural super super soft great on a pale skin does not work on a dark skin which is not great but I still like it. I still like having it around my mom got for me for Christmas. So I do kind of have a little bit of sentimental value to it. So I will still probably keep this. Then this one here I got in my Glossy Box Advent Calendar. I think it was like the second day or something like that. This is Wonder Beauty Trip for Two Blush and Bronzer Duo. It's actually really pretty. I really like the, the bronzer color in this for bronzer. I love the blush as well. It's very standard sort of blush color. Um, it's Bellini and Costa Ray. But this bronzer color is very very nice I really really like it so yeah that was a nice little find again in another glossy box but this was the advent calendar this time then I've got this bad boy here this is the MAC hyper real glow palette so these are the hyper real highlighters these are even creamier metallics in a powder form than the extra dimension highlighters they're very very intense so these are more like the paler ones they've a multitude of colors they've got like gold bronze peach and everything like that but this is the lighter palette so this is more like your champagne your pinky sort of iridescence and then your blue duochrome here as well mixing them all together actually is beautiful i kind of sometimes do a little dab of each and i think they're stunning i don't use it a whole lot but i feel like i need to use it more again then we've got this random one here this is ps glow contour and highlight kit this is not a contour kit because it's all shimmers <laughs> um but I'll probably declutter this. This was from Primark and I can only really use this as a highlighter. This is a blusher. This one during the summer, even then it's still a bit dark. And then this one is not, not it's not a me kind of color. I know people who would probably love this. So I will have no problem giving this away because I just don't use it. I haven't used, I probably used it twice, I'd say. Then I've got this one here. This is the Revolution HD Pro Strobe. So you remember that stick highlighter from Makeup Revolution, the really gold one that I showed you earlier? That was from this set here. Very cheap plastic packaging. You've got two creams, one more of a pink, one more of a gold sort of duochrome here. You can kind of see there if I tilt it, you'll see the shine. And then you've got more of a peach and then more of a like rosy sort of highlighter as well they're actually really really pretty the creams are a little bit on the drier kind of thicker side but they're still quite nice um with the powders then the powders are lovely like makeup revolutions powder highlight formula is really nice it's just very soft it's not hugely like some of them are very blinding this one's quite soft so yeah i i don't know how much i probably use it i don't know if i'll keep it i'm not sure but i do still quite like it i i just don't use it then this really really fancy looking one here this is the park avenue princess palette this is the contour and highlight palette from tart i got this in my glossy box advent calendar on the very last day the 25th so this was like the big surprise in it and it was stunning i love this especially as a makeup artist if i do decide to do anyone's makeup outside of work this is a great one because there is a lot of deeper shades here they're not the deepest i probably still could do it one or two more deep shades if i did need it 
but for anyone that I've done so far it's worked out pretty well you've got more like a bit pinky toned matte highlight a more yellowy toned matte highlight I love this shade it's more of a contour shade and this one more as a bronzer I don't really use these two on myself which is why I don't feel like a contour palette is great for everyone it's only really going to be if you're going to be doing makeup on other people but I still love the range of colors and I think they've very good choices there's just no shimmers they're all matte so it's more of a makeup artist highlight kind of color corrector powders but i really like it really nice packaging as well okay we'll go for this one this is the moon child glow kit from anastasia beverly hills i've used this so much i love this so much as well so you've got all your duochrome dreams that you need so this one is a blue duochrome this one is a silver this one is a bright violet and then this one is more like a violet and silver mixed together. Then you've got a green and then you've got a pink. So everything is pretty much there that you really need for duochrome highlighters. So that's why I don't usually gravitate towards gra uh, duochrome highlighters because I have them all here and they're great formula. Really like the texture, really like the colour range you have from them and even the silver one looks quite dark but it's actually really, really pretty and blinding. But yeah, I love, love this little palette. I know there's more natural shades as well that they do in those, but I like the weird ones because that's just me. Then we've got this one here. This is also a Glossy Box Advent Calendar Find. Let me get rid of that. I don't know why I still have that in there. Let me just throw that over there. But this was obviously the last day as well of the very first Advent Calendar I ever got from them. This is the Winter Highlight Palette from Huda Beauty. You've got one cream up here which I'm not a big fan of having creams and powders in one palette, but I can get over it with something like this. And then you've got three more duochrome. So again, more of like a blue violet, a very vibrant red, and then a very vibrant gold. So these I nearly use like this one as a blush topper. This one is very, like it's quite gold, um, but I can still get away with it because the base is quite translucent. That's your blue. And then that is the more kind of red. So I use this one more as a blush topper, but the other two are absolutely fine. Really, really like it. Um, really good texture don't use it a whole lot because I don't gravitate towards duochrome highlighters as often but when I do I have it there and I know I have it and then lastly the final final product and the final palette is the Salmon from Odin's Eye Highlighter Palette I got this in their mystery box I got the big mystery box and I keep this in here to keep them nice and covered I don't know why I just like it I feel like it's fancy again there is some duochrome shades in here I didn't pick this myself I actually probably would have picked the other highlight palette that they do or did I don't know I haven't seen it on their website in a while the Salmon 2 that's probably more what I would have wanted but this is still stunning I love this as a highlighter I love this as a highlighter I love this as a blusher it is stunning and then this is another kind of blue duochrome I don't gravitate towards that too much but I love the other three. I think they're stunning. Um, Odin's Eye Formula is beautiful. I don't know when this video is going up. If I already have the Hella Pala uploaded or if it's on the way. I still haven't received it as of filming it right now. And it is the 12th of March. So I'm still waiting on it. But as soon as it gets here, I'm going to film with it. So hopefully it gets here soon. And I'll have a video for you soon. But that will be coming soon. I'll probably use this with it as well okay guys so that is it that is our bronzer contour highlighter and cheek palette collection video i know it's been a long time but i got around to doing it finally so let's go back to past carla and see what she has to say for the end of the video okay guys what do you think what do you think of the collection i feel like i've got a nice little collection going basically like I don't have a lot of bronzer contour well I do have a lot of them but I don't have as much as say a lot of other like youtubers would or people who collect a lot of makeup do because not a lot of bronzers and contours actually suit my skin because I'm so pale so I have ones that I know suit me pretty well and my highlight is extensive my highlight collection is excessive and I'm still not finished adding to it so I, I know that there's other things that I definitely want to get to add to my collection eventually not just yet I'm finished for now but soon I know something else is going to come out that I'm going to want so yeah let me know what you guys think down below in the comments what is your favorite bronzer contour product what's your favorite highlight are there any in my collection that you have that you love are there any in my collection that you've been lusting after let me know all that down below in the comments and if you did like this video then give me a big thumbs up down below it's the quickest simplest and easiest way to give me a little bit of support get me around to more people and also let me know that you like the video and i will continue to do many more also hit subscribe down below to see many things coming the look for the video for this look is coming as well and many more videos plus we've got eyeshadows coming 
eyeshadow palettes single shadows and eyeshadow palettes very fun i know that's what everyone always likes to see so hit subscribe down below to see that and as i said in the beginning go follow my instagram and my tiktok which is linked down below to see the up close pictures and the weird tiktoks that i always post and yeah i think that is everything so i will see you in the next video guys